Hello, I'm Harvey Galvin, Jr., Chairman of the Lumbee Tribe, and uh, today we're going to produce our third uh, uh, informational video about the coronavirus uh, pandemic. Uh, this is a Tribal Administration update. Uh, just in the last week or so, uh, we have issued an executive or order waiving rental payments for all residents of Tribal Rental Housing. We've issued an executive order deferring mortgage payments for Tribal members who are part of the Tribal Ownership Program. No interest will be charged during this time. The Disaster Recovery Services Program has been expanded to include additional assistance for members needing mortgage, rental, or utility assistance as a result of COVID-19. Our Tribal Administration has also created a 1-800 number that's listed on the screen that you can call for information concerning the uh, coronavirus uh, pandemic. Uh, the Lummi Tribe of North Carolina currently has a medicated assistant assistance program otherwise known as MAT. I don't know that a lot of people know about this program. With the use of FDA approved medications in combination with counseling, this program can provide the treatment of substance abuse. So if you or anyone in your family has opioid addiction problems, you can call 1-910-522-5055 and a tribal representative will help you through this program um, if you need it. Please call it's confidential, it's away from the tribe, it's in a building downtown Pembroke, and um, it'll be in confidentiality uh, during your uh, assessment. Also, the census, very important. If, when you receive your census information in the mail, please fill it out and return it. And also, you can go online right now and uh, qualify your, your family uh, and yourself, uh, your households, and this is very important. This pandemic we're in right now, hundreds of millions of dollars are coming out from the federal government. Two trillion dollars and more will come. But if we don't get our numbers right, we can't do anything about the money coming in this time. But for the next one, we will have extra money coming in because we counted all our people. And also, this will give us another uh, congressional representative in the state of North Carolina, which is extremely important to have representation in Washington, D.C. So please fill out the information. Go get uh, enrolled in census. Uh, and don't forget part seven on the census. It'll ask you specifically if you're a Native American, if you are just say Lumbee. Um, also a very important part, as, as a part of the recently passed CARES Act, the Lumbee tribe learned just yesterday that we will be receiving an additional 4.5 million from HUD. That's NAHASDA, Native American Housing Assistance Self-Determination Act. The money will be used by the housing department at the Lumbee Tribe to prevent, prepare for, and respond to COVID-19. HUD is working now to issue additional guidelines, and there will be guidelines how we can spend it, many of them, and requirements to access the monies. We will keep you all updated as we learn more when we receive the funds and how we can disperse the funds. Uh, social distancing. We're not a hot spot yet, but as you can see, our numbers are really creeping up of cases uh, here in Robinson County. And if we don't follow social distancing guidelines, we will become a hot spot. Please really pay attention to Governor Cooper, Cooper's uh, executive order and what's in, contained in it. Follow the guidelines, stay at home. Uh, I know we all wanna be riding our Harleys and we know that the Harley rally has been uh, 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 canceled, but we have to practice social distancing to keep us all safe. You know, uh, every day is a blessing, a blessing from God, and what comes with it, good or bad, or ever how we look at it, is still a blessing. But just think, about four months ago, we were at each other's throats in America, fighting each other, even in our own communities. But to me, this is a way that God has brought this pandemic to tell us and show us for you to survive, not as a people, but as an individual, as a people, as a nation, as human beings on this earth, we have to protect each other's back. Social distancing, that's what it is. We're protecting ourselves, but we're protecting our brothers and sisters. And if we don't pay attention to this, this is gonna be extremely harsh, much harsher than what we even see today. It hasn't peaked yet, so we had to pay attention and we have to watch each other's backs. 
There's some people we need to keep in our prayers. There are several Lumbees that have gone on leave, medical professionals that have decided to go to the medical front lines in New York City. Lumbees, Lumbee medical professionals. So keep them in your prayers. They're up there and they're right in front of the hot spot, in the middle of the hot spot. So keep them in your prayers. And also our military, our Lumbee warriors all around the world, they can catch coronavirus wherever they are. So keep our loved ones and all our military not just Lumbees, but all our military, keep them in our prayers. This is our time. This is our time to show ourselves and to show God who put us here how we can do better, how we can protect ourselves and protect each other, and how we can grow together and survive this together and come out better on the other end of it. God bless the Lumbee people, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you.